Hello, whoever's watching this video. Today, I'm in Japan. What? Okay. <laughs> so, today I'm in Japan. I've been in Japan for like the past week and I love it. My favorite place in the entire world is Portland. Whenever I'm in downtown Portland, I feel like crying. Like I've cried multiple times while walking around downtown. Like walking on streets that I've walked on a thousand times but like here it's like such a different feeling it's so crazy to be um specifically in Tokyo um it's it's so strange to be in a city that has inspired so much of the music I listen to you know, um specifically like um all the music I listen to under the electronic umbrella when we first got here on the train ride from the airport to like Tokyo Station, I cried just the whole time. I was listening to Porter Robinson's album Worlds and I was just sobbing because especially with that album, I can just feel that like it was so inspired by Japan and Tokyo and everything. And it's it's just, it's amazing here and like the nightlife here is so incredible and like it's just, I'm having such a great time. And I'm just, I'm having the best time ever, but I, I've bought a lot of things, so that's what this video is about. And also, I went to Sober Sonic, which is a music festival here in Japan. Um, I went to the one in Tokyo, and I saw so many incredible people. I'm gonna make a whole video about that, I think, because it was, it was so insane to go to a festival in a different country that I've never been to, and, oh, okay. So, a lot of this haul is CDs and vinyl that I've bought. But there's also like some non-vinyl items which I'm going to show first and then we're going to move on to the CDs and the vinyl. There's more CDs than there are vinyl, but yeah, let's get started. The first thing I bought when I got here, besides food, I think was this. Yeah, um, so I bought, <laughs> so we went to, what's it called? We went to Edo Wonderland. One thing that we stumbled upon while we were there was this little movie theater that was playing a movie called Samurai Cat. And it was freaking hilarious. As a joke, with myself. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so funny. I bought a Samurai Cat shirt. It's black and it has Samurai Cat on it and I got it in a size small. Me being dumb, buying a small and I wish I would have bought like a large or something so I could wear it as like a PJ shirt. But that was the first thing I bought. I went to Tokyo Tower twice. First time was to actually go up to the Tokyo Tower and the second time was to do shopping for friends and family and stuff. But both times I was there, they were playing like some bops. Like the first time I was there, they were playing Dua Lipa in the gift shop area. And then when I was there today, they were playing Kesha and I was like, oh yes, all these queens from Summer Sonic. The first time I was there, I bought this little silver Tokyo Tower keychain. So that was the first thing I bought. And then today I bought two things that I wanted to get the first time I was at Tokyo Tower but didn't this little pin of the flag of Japan and I think it's really cute and I, I have a red denim jacket so I think that this would look really cute on it and I thought that was it's a little enamel pin it's cute and then the second thing I bought was the most touristy thing I could ever buy but I love it they were selling so many of these at the little um I think it's on on the second floor of the Tokyo Tower they sell so many of these shirts so many of the stand sell these so I thought why not buy one? Ooh, this feels nice. Oh wait, never mind. Ooh, I gotta be careful with this. This is gonna fall apart. <laughs> I mean, it was like 10 US dollars. But I bought an I Heart Japan shirt because like, why not? I just really wanted an I Heart Japan shirt, so I bought one. <laughs> ah, I love Japan! It's so cool here. I love it here so much. Okay, I'm gonna be so sad when I leave tomorrow. Okay, moving on. The one thing that I knew I needed to get before I went to Japan was face masks. So today, I hopped down to my little convenience store that's like 10 steps away from the hotel, and I bought two boxes of these face masks. I don't know what they are. They are kind of weird. I, had, I tried one today, and it was really good. My skin feels great right now. I think it was like an acid face mask. I don't know, but there's like a bunch of different ones in here, and also this box is really tricky to open. Some of them, this one's an aloe one, 
This one's like a pearl one. This one, okay, this one's weird. It's a, it's a bird's nest one. I don't know what that means. And this one's like a black pearl one. And then I have like another one in my bag, which I'm taking on the plane so I can use it. Um, I love sheet masks. I, did I say face masks? These are sheet masks. I love sheet masks. They're great and cheap here. On the first day of Summer Sonic, I got a blister on the bottom of my foot. The bottom of my foot. So I went to 7-Eleven and got some band-aids. And they look like this. That's like the only non-food related thing I've gotten at 7-Eleven. <laughs> okay. Now moving on to the vinyl. I have it in my record store day bag, which I got at Music Millennium. It's like the bag I brought from home because I knew I'd be buying a lot of music related stuff and I wanted to keep it safe in this. But inside this <laughs> record store day bag, I have a Tower Records bag. For my vinyl shopping, I went to Shibuya. I went to Tower Records twice and I went to HMV. Okay, let's just dump out everything I got. Lots of things. There's a lot. What should we start with? Let's start off with HMV because I don't have a lot of stuff from HMV. So, yeah. First thing I got was something that I'd never seen before and it is a 7 inch single for Slide by Calvin Harris, which is a bop. And yeah, my friends and I like to jam with this song. Hey, why not get a 12 inch single of it so I can bop with my friends if they're ever over, but that never happens. Okay, I've never seen this before. So when I saw it at HMV, I was like, I'm gonna get that. The next thing I picked up was something that I had been like kind of hunting for, but it wasn't like something like, big on my mind. It was just like, ooh, that thing, remember it. And I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> I'm making no sense right now, but it is a seven inch from Bastille. I don't know if it's supposed to be this way or like this way. I don't know because I like took it out of the packaging and looked at it and then I put it back. So um, this has this has hanging in this has hanging and overload and it was a record store day something or rather I'm pretty sure but yeah I got that because I've never seen that before in person next thing I got was something so iconic and it is a one direction picture disc I can't talk one direction picture disc I think this was like record store day 2015 maybe 2014 I don't know look at look at that it's iconic and the picture disc looks like that it's the same on both sides okay now moving on to the stuff i got at tower records and tower records was so cool and when i was researching on places that i wanted to go in japan that was like the one place that i really wanted to go the store in shibuya is massive it's a huge ass building i will insert a picture of it here it is so cool there's so many floors of so many different like things i only picked up one vinyl item while i was there and it was something that I just grabbed as I was leaving. I picked up this seven inch from Park Golf because I thought the album art was cool. And turns out I really like it. I listened to some of their album on Spotify and I was like, this is some good stuff. Now I'm moving on to the stack of CDs I bought. First thing, first thing I bought was this One Direction single for Steal My Girl. I'd never seen this single before. So I was like, ooh, better swipe that, right? And and there's a special price tag on it. I don't know if I'll take any of this stuff out of the packaging because it's like from Japan and cool, but for some of it I will. Like this next thing, the CD for Small Pools newest EP, The Science of Letting Go, which honestly I have not listened to this EP entirely yet. I found this, which is super cool, which I'd never seen before in person, which is, and that is, the Small Pools EP, which was the EP that got me into Small Pools. They don't have this at any of the record stores by me. It is so hard to find Sticky Finger stuff in my area back home. One time, like two years ago, I found Land of Pleasure on CD. I swiped that, but Besides that one time I've seen that one copy, I've never seen anything else Sticky Fingers. So when I saw this, I flipped out in Tower Records and it is the CD for, uh, for Westway. The Glitter in the Slums. I, I love this album and to have like a copy from Japan is pretty cool. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I'll take it out, but if I'm ever on a road trip with someone who I think would like sticky fingers and they don't have an ox in their car, I'm bringing that along. <laughs> Let's do this next. Let's tackle this beast. It's not really a beast. It's just me 
being a head ass. The next two things I think are the most iconic things you should take away from this haul. If you're gonna take away anything from this haul, it should be like the next like minute and a half of what I'm saying. I feel like it's now a joke. Like <laughs> this, what? I don't, do, I don't even know how to explain myself. Okay, I'm, I love supporting Skylar Spence. You know, Ryan is just such a great person and I just wanna give him all of my money. Ryan is kind of Spence. And so, you know, I couldn't just buy one Skylar Spence CD while I was in Tokyo. I needed to buy two. And actually, it was kind of good because this is just a normal version of the CD from Tower Records. And this is like the special version, which has a remix of Fall Harder. Ooh, love that song. And can't you see another great song? So, yeah, it's a special version. So I got two, which means I now have five physical copies of Prom King. No, that's terrible. Why do I need so many copies of it? Like, I don't understand. I have, like, mm, I'm trash. The amount of promotion I do, like, to my friends and, like, my mutuals on Twitter for Skylar Spence is insane. I should be a part of, like, his marketing team because the amount of people I've gotten into Skylar Spence, it's insane. Listen to Skylar Spence. He deserves the world. The Fairs is one of my all-time favorite songs. And go to his U.S. fall tour because it's gonna be lit as hell and you'll hear a Fairs live, which is my favorite song. So, okay, <laughs> moving on. The next thing I bought is something that I wanted to buy for a while on vinyl, but they don't have anywhere and it pisses me off. So I thought, hey, why not get a CD in Japan? And that's what I did. It is a copy of Daft Punk, Human After All. I love this album, so I thought, why not get it on CD in Japan? Whoa! I think for like everything that I bought, it's like, you know, like why not just buy it on CD in Japan, even though I rarely use CDs. Um, next thing I bought was this Harry Styles CD book thing, and like this thing, this, there's like a side thing. That's in Japanese, that's cool. Um, and it came with a poster. And also came with this little booklet on the inside, which is in Japanese. Oh my god. Wait, is it? Oh my god. There's a lyric booklet in Japanese. I can't read that. So if, I, if I'm listening to the CD and I want to know the lyrics, I'm screwed. <laughs> but came with this little book of... Came with this cute book of cute pictures of Harry Styles. Oh, there he is. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to Brenna. You know, just this book just reminds me of Brenna. And like the whole time while I'm flipping through this, I'm like, king of having his thumb up. <laughs> I love Brenna. It's really late in Portland right now, so like I should be going to bed, but it's 5 p.m. here So the party is just getting started for me and tomorrow when I get back to Portland It's gonna be hard to go to bed I think early, but I'll manage tomorrow. I got like 13 hours worth of travel so Whoopee I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sorry I was kind of obnoxious. I have been with my family for the past week and I have barely talked to any of my friends. I've texted my friends but I haven't really talked to them so I think that's what's driving me nuts. Peace out.